Green offers um, many different types of programs. Our main types would be Native American, Archaeology, Regional Geology, and Outdoor Education. We're surrounded by everything, and we're just the only little pocket of nature that we have. And in this area, we're one of the few natural areas that wildlife can stop off at. This site was chosen by Nassau County because of all the different geological features that are all in one area. These features are seen in different areas of the world, different parts of Long Island, but they're not all in one location like they are at Garvey's Point. Anybody who came to the North Shore, lives on the North Shore, knows there is a lot of boulders, especially when you're putting in your tomato garden. Here is an example of what we call a glacial erratic. The glacier put it here, and then it's erratic because it came from somewhere else, like Connecticut. A lot of the specimens that you see throughout the museum are glacial erratics and most of them are just from the north. You go further east, you might get something picked up from Rhode Island or deposited from Rhode Island. Dr. Thomas Garvey is from Scotland and he came here. This was his family property. They had a farm and they actually mined the clay down on the beach and I believe it was in the 50s or 60s that the property was purchased by Nassau County. There was a gentleman who had started a natural history museum down in uh, Seaford, Edward Patterson, and that was a natural history museum, and this was to be the other half of the museum because the site is not just a place that was available that some gentleman farmer doctor had, um, it also has geologic features that are found, whereas they're found all over Long Island, they're all, they're all found here, and there were Native American sites. I've always loved this exhibit. I, I found it fascinating because it's actually a diorama that was built based on a real archaeological excavation. So this was done in 1967 to 1969 when the museum first opened and all of the people in the diorama were actually modeled after real staff members, real archaeologists. And it was done in Wading River out on Long Island. People can help Garvey's by visiting, by telling all their friends to come, and just remembering that it's on your list to come and to come back. You should come to Garvey's to see our unique and interesting dioramas, our exhibits. You should come to Garvey's to explore our nature trails. And they're the type of thing where the more you look at it, the more you notice.